How's it going, everyone? Welcome to this week's episode of Hello. But Why. Oh my gosh, you had to interrupt. <laughs> we're, we're just rolling with it. Uh, and I'm here joined by a good friend of mine. Uh, do you even go by Skywalker Prime anymore, or is it just Sky? Hello. Hello. It's just Sky. Why, why'd you drop it? We're Hello. getting the scoop. Because uh, it's shorter. It's shorter? Yeah. You didn't want to go to like Omen or nothing? You just stick with Sky? No, it's shorter. But I thought, never mind. We're not, I'm not going to go into it. <laughs> Did you know what I was going to say? But you thought I was tall. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I am tall. Be nice to me. Dude, I'm so short. Should we do the retention? We got to we got to get into the no, no, no. OK, fine, fine, fine. So as you can see below, uh, we have a the hero roster for Overwatch. So what me and Sky are going to be doing is we're going to be rating them uh, based on their lore. Uh, Sky, I actually forgot to tell you this. I only have three categories. I put uh, amazing, good, and bad. Oh, I have S, B, A, C, D. Yeah, no. I did. I did custom, so it's a bit easier to understand. Oh. I think I'm gonna make a category called "Lol." I'm just here for game mechanics or game balance. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I respect that. <laughs> uh, do we just want to go in order to how it's like given to us, or do we want to start like? Yeah. So like Diva Hammond, Zarya. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. I see we go in order. Okay. That that's that's pretty easy to understand. Okay, so starting with Diva, isn't she just a mecha pilot gamer that now works for the government? Yeah. That's literally just Bad it. Lord. I Bad I Lord. I honestly agree because that's all she is and there's nothing past that. Nothing. They wanted to give her gamer lines and have her well, say stuff like nerf this. GG next up winky she's face it's poggers, it's poggers. <laughs> didn't she actually at one point say like buff this or something like that For like, like an april fool's thing she might have i don't remember I, it's like a vague memory but literally that is all all just diva like even her short yeah. her short doesn't give you anything other than she there like what was it null sector that attacked yeah. her short <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay. Do we want to say anything else about the or just want to move on? Yeah. Yeah, what do you want to say? Town. Stinky you're putting it in Stinky Town? I'm putting her in Stinky Town because she is she has a lot of cool abilities, but her lore is just like how I'm a, do we I'm a gamer. Lonely guys? How do we oh jeez, you're calling out the freaking community. Jeez. Dude, I am. No, uh, what we'll get community? The, oh my i'm cutting that out 100 you freak Dude, you can't cut that out? <laughs> i'm what cutting that out oh now i'm sad i'll keep making that joke throughout the entire thing so i hate you i'm putting her just in bad on mine since i didn't make stinky town stinky town oh, fine you can keep her in stinky town uh moving on to hammond i think I, I like i wouldn't say his lore is amazing but it's it's not bad yeah so maybe we need to add a a, a mid tier a mid tier you think so yeah, between bad and and good. Okay, then. We'll have mid. Mid. We'll just have it say mid. Literally mid. Mid. Oh, that's mid. Huge. Okay, so yeah, I'm I'm okay putting Hammond there, because. Yeah, I think Hammond's pretty mid. He he goes like. And then I. Sometimes, but that's about it. He. <laughs> I love your impersonation of a hamster. Isn't he his lore just like he was on the Horizon Lunar Colony with Winston and they knew each other or something? Yeah, he's just the rodent Winton. And then didn't he build the yeah, the wrecking ball himself? Yeah, and it's also dumb that his name is is wrecking Hammond, ball, but everyone <laughs> just calls him hamster. Do they actually? Yeah, everyone just or they call him ball. They call him ball. ball me. No one calls him wrecking ball. They all either call him Hammond or or ball. They don't yeah, actually so call him wrecking ball. Hero design because. <laughs> Because what they did was they they released the um what was it the story trailer for him and he was just Hammond yeah. so it's kind of like the Could same deal like Stuart Little Two or something yeah it's it's kind of like this Stuart Little Two it's kind of like the same deal with uh, Dead by Daylight where like Michael Myers is in it but he's called the shape in the game and like Freddy Krueger is called the nightmare no one actually calls them that but dude I used to be called Wrecking the shape Ball too. why. 
So I'd be shaped, man. I need you to explain. I got that hourglass figure, man. Explain the joke. Oh, I get what you I mean got now. That hourglass figure. I got gotcha. But other than that, uh, his lore is just he fought in the uh, the Junker Wars or whatever the Junker Town hosts, right? And I think that's literally it. It's not terrible. He's pretty mid. He it's gets not... he gets brownie points for just being associated with Winston, and I think that's it. Yeah, because I mean he's Winston. <laughs> Winston. Uh, moving on to Zarya. What is Zarya's lore? So Zarya's lore is that she was like the world's strongest woman and like a serious athlete, and I think during the Omnic War she was like drafted and went and fought for her country and it was like actually super dope and she's like a hero to russia it's nothing more than that though she works Bro, for volskaya the lore and you're making a tier list she i i know most of the lore but i, I azaria is just one of those where i know she's just like a war hero basically actually she might work for volskaya i i'm not quite sure but i well, just know that she's like a, a russian war hero you remember how at the end of uh sombra's cinematic she shows up right yeah i think i think she makes or she uses like Volskaya weapons. Yeah, Volskaya she does. Is, is from what I understand, like Stark Industries. Yeah, you know? basically for Russia. Yeah, but she doesn't work for Volskaya. Yeah, I mean, the whole idea around her being this this like overpowered like war hero. I don't know if that's enough to put it above mid for me. What do you think? All right, then you better not put Reinhardt anywhere above. Mid. Why is that basically Ryan? That's basically Ryan, dude. He's just an overpowered war hero. You think so? Like German. I was gonna put Zarya at good lore. I okay. Good lore. I'm I'm willing to put her at good because Ryan is essentially the exact same. Except he's cooler, in my opinion. Ash lore. Ash lore. Eh. I mean, she's the leader of the deadlock gang, right? Yeah. That's basically it. <laughs> she she That's, her and she doesn't like McCree. Yeah. She has a cool robot guy. Yeah. I heard amazing with cool robots. <laughs> okay. I would. Uh, all she's got going for her is the deadlock gang. I'm almost tempted to put her in bad because she doesn't have much more than that. Because I like her as a character and all, but her lore just isn't really fleshed out. Yeah, she just hasn't really been explored. So I'll put her in bad now, but it's not a, it's not a, like a firm bad. Sport. No. So it doesn't break bad, but it's it does, you know. Yeah, it's not. I just want more, and there's not enough. Yeah. So. Don't worry, they're working on a story mode. Oh, yeah, right. How much you want to bet when the story mode actually comes out since Blizzard is such a greedy Ew. company? Shut up. <laughs> How much a you want to bet? Thing? Oh my gosh. Blizzard is going to release a the PvE and they're going to put a price tag on it. Yeah. They definitely uh, wait, are. I think they said I they were they actually. That, yeah, they said yeah, they were because the PvP was what was free and then the pve was what we paid for yeah okay you beat up people but not robots yeah of course of course okay high key bastion's lore is amazing high That's key amazing high yeah. key yeah, so the best cinematic. Best i cinematic. agree dude that didn't that this win his well this yeah so didn't his cinematic win like actual awards i think because his was the most like appealing outside of like okay you know, here's Hanzo and Genji, and you're like, brother, brother. <laughs> but it's like, here's here's just a story that starts and ends. And yeah. You don't need like any words to tell it. Nope. Bastion's lore is he was in the Omnic Wars, and then for whatever reason his AI changed to for this bird for whatever reason. Now he found then he found Torbjorn, and then what is that it? And now they're besties. Yeah, they're besties, and uh, Torbjorn gave him uh, the hat. We know that much. So we think so. No, that's that's the uh, ironclad, I think, logo or whatever that he's wearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge. Okay, McCree Cassidy's lore. lore. I would say Cassidy oh, sorry, McCree. Sorry, sorry, Cassidy lore. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would say it's amazing. I don't know if it is amazing. Okay. I think it's good, but it's like, all right. <laughs> okay, listen, We've listen. We've seen it a million times. You know, former criminal gets yeah. brought into a government agency and turns good. He was like, he was forced know, against his will though. Uh, they, didn't they give him they gave him the option of go to jail or join Overwatch, right? Yeah. And that it's it was like, Reaper he's that got him. Just suicide Squad, except he just gets. <laughs> he's basically just Suicide Squad. Basically, I don't know. I think his whole like backstory of being with like Black Watch, then he was with Overwatch. Uh, he's like, I'm a gun. And then he's like, I'm peacing out. 
and then he tells Echo to go, but not him. So we don't know where where McCree actually is at. <laughs> Like Route 66 around there, I think. Yeah, probably. Uh, I'd, I'd put him at good. I don't know if he's... If you compare him with the amazing... I mean, arrive pair him with the amazing contender that we have up there. You don't I'm think so? I'm just not sure he hits the same as Bastion. Bastion's just such an original concept, and he is just... Uh-oh, bad guy turned good guy, because he his only other option was jail. That's fair. I mean, now that I'm thinking of it, the Ash short? Why was he even at Route 66? Pi. What? Pie. Pie? No way. <laughs> he was literally there eating pie when it happened. <laughs> I, oh no, he was there because he knew that they were gonna attack the train. That's why it happened. I disagree. I think just pie. <laughs> no, he was he he was there because he knew they were gonna sabotage the train because he needed to get Echo. But first. He needed to get pie. Dude, can we talk about the pie physics on that cinematic? Yeah. Okay, pie lore goes to amazing. Yo, pie huge. Pie lore goes to amazing. Yo, we he need to do a pie tier list now. Pie tier list? Jeez. He like, um, Yo, he tipped dude, even. A pie tier list? Except we try every single pie in person. Oh my gosh. It. I'm down for that. I don't know about pies, though. Ice creams might be, like, easy or something. Dude, pie would be so much... There's not a, like, there's not a... A definite pie tier list out there that exists. Everyone has an ice cream tier list. No one rates pie, man. Anyway, I mean, I bet. <laughs> you know, We're I'm I'm to do. I'm cool putting McCree slash Cassidy. Isn't there a name for him like Mick Cassidy or Cole like Cassidy. Cole, Cole Cassidy. Cassidy? That's dumb. So I'm trying to start calling him Cole, but it's like Cole on me, Cole on me. It just makes me sound like Santa did me wrong. Is his first name Cole? Yeah, Cole Cassidy. Just like it was Jesse McCree, it's Cole Cassidy now? Yeah. I didn't know that, actually. I thought his first name was just Cassidy. It's not Joel. Joel. Jeez. My name's not Joel. No, we're not in The Walking Dead here. I haven't seen The Walking Dead. Is there even a Joel character there? Bro, I was talking about <laughs> The Last of Us. Oh, same character, same same TV show slash game slash zombie apocalypse you just story. A lot of people. Yeah, I did. I don't care though. <laughs> I haven't seen any and of them. Echo. I, I think Echo is. Echo. I think Echo. Echo is good, not quite amazing. I'd say she's mid. I mean, really, she was born. Winston made her. That's her lore. Winston made her. Winston made no. Winston didn't make her. It was another scientist that knew Winston. Let me look this up. Let me look this up. Oh, you don't know. Who it's, made Echo? I think I don't know why I've had this like I'm not sure if it's true or not, but I've had this like idea of like her lore is oh. this lady built her and transferred her consciousness to Echo because she was dying or something. I th hmm. that's that's how I have always thought of her lore. Yeah. Okay. So apparently it's Doctor Mina Lau. Mm -hmm. So because it's not Winston, that's now bad lore. That's now bad. <laughs> it's now bad lore. <laughs> I, I don't think it's bad, but if it's not the story I'm thinking it is, then it's definitely mid or bad. But if it's the story I'm thinking of, I think that's pretty cool, and it goes to at least mid. Oh, I'll, 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 you know, we'll we'll go to a arrive premise, and I'll put her in mid. I, huge, huge. Okay, Genji. Can we talk about Genji and Hanzo at the same time? Straight up S tier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, I think I think S tier lore. It's just awesome. It's. I don't even know if there's anything more to say other than. Their whole like wow. Shimada deal. Holy, holy wacky nuts. That's holy cool. wacky nuts. I guess I'll say holy wacky nuts. That's this is absolutely bonkers crazy. Can't believe it. <laughs> uh, and their cinematic. It's just best. awesome. It's the best. And we're not rating this off of cinematic. No. It's just awesome. We're doing it off of pure story alone. Bro, I forgot to hit record. Are you lying? <laughs> yeah, I'm lying. <laughs> yeah, I figured. <laughs> Because you would have reacted a lot more than that. Uh, I forgot to record. <laughs> um, but with their lore of like the whole, I want to see at some point Hanzo use a sword. I don't care that like I want it to be but his redemption arc. Hanzo use a sword, if, don't you? if if shut up, dude. <laughs> I want to see him use a sword because it would like signify that he oh like forgave himself for what he did to Genji because that's like his whole deal of like yeah yeah. yeah. He hasn't forgiven himself for like the whole thing that went down. So my brother. I, if he was better than Genji with the sword, that I want to see it. I don't care. <laughs> Junkrat lore, I would say, is good. You why? Explain yourself. 
it's just cool. His his he, lore. He, went crazy. he was you know everything going on with Junker Town. Just, he got kicked just out. Original. Like, and they went on the original. worldwide heist as well. I they think literally originality is a big thing for me. And that's right. a unique story. You know, they could have made him this like Joker-esque character, but they didn't. It was like an insane maniac character that robs Who's banks. He's also just a nice guy. He, he really is polite until he blows you up in the face. Ew. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm done with the art. <laughs> you usually don't make these that much. You're only making them so I have to edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> You're so evil. Okay, I'm cool with them being in in good, but May? there's May. I I'd say May is amazing. I don't care. May's is amazing. I I you That's don't like her as a character. No 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 no. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think of that. I unironically did that. No, her her backstory I would say is amazing. It's on point yeah, with I with agree. those three. It's really cool. Like freaking. I want to explain a little bit of the lores just so we have more to talk about. Uh. Okay. Like Maze was, she's part of Equal Point Antarctica. They had to go, like, what, to be asleep during the absolute coldest part of winter or something? Uh, and then her friends died. And then it was, like, what, 60 years later? It's basically Captain America situation, where she was know, the only one that woke later, up. But it was definitely a long time later. They, they told you in the cinematic, but I don't, I don't remember yeah, what it was. Top of my head. It was a lot of years, basically. Basically, uh, she's old awe. Old awe. I wonder if she's gonna do like the whole age acceleration thing, like like Cap did eventually. You know what I'm talking about? You mean where she travels through time? No, 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 no. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You freak. <laughs> where she? Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. I'm not gonna explain it then. <laughs> okay. Doomfist lore. I would awesome. say it's amazing. I would say it's I would amazing. Say amazing. Because if and they, oh, say, and they 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 say, okay, only. Pre Doomfist hype was through the roof before he was in the game. Like yeah. people were so excited for him because no one knew what he looked like. We just knew that someone had the Doomfist gauntlet, and that's why Arissa was also created was to defend Numbani, which yeah. which they didn't have at the time. Because freaking what's her face? I don't even remember the name of the chick that made Arissa. I think it's Effie. Is that what? Yeah, that is what it is. Where'd she go by the It's Effie or Evie, one of the two. Doomfist is amazing, and the like, pre pr the whole story behind like the predecessors of the Doomfist Gauntlet. There was yeah. like, I forget what they were called because they actually took down the posters in Numbani, and there's something else hanging there now. Do you remember that? Yeah. At least I think so. And now, like, all I don't know. Now his current arc of just like trying to incite the violence mm -hmm. and like fighting against humanity is just like. Yeah, I think it's cool. And now he's working with Null Sector, and that's how we were introduced to Ramatra literally like four years ago. And now we finally have him in the game. Yeah, and he punches. <laughs> he definitely punches. Are we talking about Doomfist or Ramatra? Because they both punch. Dude, they're just a couple of punchy guys. They are both a bunch of punchy hey, boys. Don't go to a party without them. Don't go. Oh, Let's gosh. go bring the punch. <laughs> Uh, and also, I would argue that, and you're not going to agree with this because you don't like anime, but I would say his reveal trailer is one of the most hyped. It's I would say it's probably like my second favorite under the Genji and Hanzo one. We it's so it's no. so freaking cool, though. You can't look at his reveal trailer and say that it's better than like, oh, I don't know, Hanzo and Genji. I said that. It, I said it's under them. But it, that's probably the second um, best. Sombra? Sombra's is, Sombra's awesome. is good. Okay, it might be under Sombra's too. But other than that... Yeah, yeah, it's okay, like, the Rhine it's one's not, pretty not, good too. Yeah, yeah Ryan. Yeah, like, listen to yourself here. I would you say mean? it's it's up there though. It's up there with the best of the best is my, my point. Yeah, but they've, they've released what? Seven things total? More, so. I think. I think they've released more than that. Because I think total it's like over an hour of shorts like they literally could have made an overwatch movie with all the shorts they've made Farah, there's hmm. uh, isn't her whole idea that she she grew up wanting to be part of overwatch on i didn't want her to be part of overwatch actually didn't she everyone else like trained her more or less i think she was a part of the egyptian military first like anna was and then they joined overwatch yeah. mm -hmm. i think so at least and then it's pretty mid lore it's, it's nothing crazy. It's, it's nothing not crazy. Great. It's not bad. 
she's carried I'd by say. she's carried by Anna just a little bit. Okay. Well, literally like nine months at least. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm just <laughs> You're on a roll right now. You need to chill. I'm what? You're on a roll. Dude, I'm on a chair. Oh my gosh. I'm not acknowledging anymore. It's just going to be awkward silence after every single pun. Okay. Okay, Reaper. Amazing. Reaper, I'd say he has some really dope lore. He Huge lore. Game, like, <laughs> I'm an edgy, 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 edgy cool goodness. character. Dude, and then when Reaper first, like, when... Overwatch first arrived out, and you'd see like people playing Reaper. They'd have the name like Shadow Killer, <laughs> Shadow Reaper. Killer, freaking Shadow I Burn. Hate I hate my life. <laughs> Dark Spirit Forty Four. <laughs> like okay, <laughs> calm down there, kids. All right. I just think the like the whole lore with like him and Soldier Seventy Six were both presumed dead after whatever fight went down, and then they both yeah. ended up being alive anyways. Wasn't it actually Moira that brought Reaper? And gave him all his like enhancements. Yeah, is it? I think, I think so. Yeah, she, I she, think she, I remember that. Him, she has a voice line where she tells him that he's her finest experiment. Oh, and that's like, dope. Flattery will get you the grade. <laughs> <laughs> I like your creeper impression. You should be the new Reaper voice actor. Just saying. Bro, I will. <laughs> okay. Sojourn bad. <laughs> You think it goes just straight up bad? She's just the Overwatch yeah. commander. That's it. She's That's just, it. And listen, every voice line that she has, I don't Cringe. know if it was like a direction thing. Cringe. Or if it was like the voice actor that they hired, but Cringe. it sounds like the person's half asleep. Don't go uh, putting words in my mouth. I think she's, she's meant fine. to sound like... She's meant to sound like she doesn't really care, I guess. And it's probably nonchalant about things. Or yeah. just like, her, she's just serious about everything, really. I don't know. Personally, though, if I didn't really care about a lot of stuff, I wouldn't go and cybernetically enhance my body to be able to fight for things. Did she do that That's on purpose, me, or was that from battles? She did that on purpose. She was like almost everything with cybernetics. I thought it was just her legs and her one arm. Nah, her eyes, like everything. Right. She's a tryhard. And now she talks about hockey and stuff with Lucio. Actually, I've never heard that. <laughs> yeah. Don't go putting words in my mouth. Does she actually say that? Yeah. God, that's cringe. Yeah. Soldier 76, I'd also say... Amazing. 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 And I think he was the first hero that they were like... No, maybe he was second after after Tracer. Yeah. Like, yeah. He's definitely gay. Yeah, they, I think he was. So, he gets representation points as well. Amazing. Yes. You know what? They 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 announced that and then they didn't flush out anything about it at all. They just said it and moved on. But I kind of like that because it's I like want them... it doesn't have to be this big thing, right, you know, right? Like, you know, it's just like, hey, this but, is how he is. But I want to. Okay, Boom. you want to know what we're missing in Overwatch in general? A kissing emote. Not a kissing Between emote. No, dude. What the heck? Full tongue. Ew. Okay. <laughs> Full tongue. There's no. There's only speculated romances. There's no confirmed romances that are actually between I playable mean, characters life weaver wife weaver he asks baptiste out he, so. he literally does that's great i love that <laughs> he literally does but and then he asks uh mercy if she's like seeing anyone and she's like oh i have my eye on someone Ooh. And then he also asks mercy out dude wife weaver is down bad <laughs> yeah they have a couple like ship lines between people yeah, there's definitely huge speculation with, like, Genji and Mercy 2, but it's never been actually confirmed. Over, like, yeah, every freaking time, they they, they tease. But whatever. Sombra? I, uh, <laughs> More like, bruh, Som. I would put her in good, I would say, at the yeah, very... I think good. She's a very interesting take on your typical, like, Hacker. hacker i know everything character yeah which i like it's not just like here's this you know scrawny little guy who built himself like a mech suit so mm -hmm. that he can not be a scrawny little guy who hacks a bunch of stuff mm -hmm. he's just like he's just sombra sombra she's awesome. some bruh 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 um i would i would argue she's like out of i know overwatch is full of like total original characters and designs and such but i don't know why but i'm such a huge fan of just her visual design period and i don't think she she has very little bad skins in my opinion too 
and you would you will definitely yeah, disagree of, meh, yeah yeah but i but would nowhere near as many as like other characters for sure yeah uh her lore other than she's a hacker where she gets hired by uh freaking what are they called black watch or no is it null sector talon. or is it just widow and reaper it's talon talon that's what it is i forgot <laughs> Can we can we make our own our own little uh tier list or our own little uh section for uh Symmetra and put her in stinky lord town? No, cause she has <laughs> autism and representation matters. Does she actually? Yeah. You're you're capping. I I don't believe you. No, look it up. There's uh, there's also a voice line between her and Echo where Echo's like, you know, Symmetra. Sometimes I feel really weird because like my my emulations of like human behaviors doesn't let me like connect with people and she's like hey you just operate on an ability other people can't reach i don't think that makes you weird at all really i've never heard that yeah well you, you also play the game maybe one time every four months and you just log on why <laughs> huge w opinion what are in good lore good lore and her whole like history with vishkar and, with like, lucio stuff, ties in nicely with lucio yeah yeah Orb, amazing you you would put Torben amazing? I would. I need to hear your reasoning. Okay, first of all, he gave us goats, right? Oh Brace gosh. His child. Yeah, sure. All, <laughs> his lore with fashion ties into okay. that. He made all the Crusader armor. Oh, he did. Right? I I didn't know that. Yeah. That's why he he has a voice line with Reinhardt where he's like, "I hope you're not letting Brig mess with your armor too much." And Ryan's like, worried about becoming obsolete, are we? And he's like, that's parenthood for you. <laughs> that's parenthood for you. Yeah. And he's just like one of the... He is a part of Overwatch, right? I, I, I think he yeah. is. Okay. He was, he, 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 he's, it's, again, representation matters. And like, I don't know. I feel like you enjoy the game a lot more because there's short people in it. You I hate you. I, mean? I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even short. I'm average. <laughs> Short people have to say. <laughs> hey, I'm a, if I'm gonna grasp his straws, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Bro, tracer lore. I think we have to put her in amazing. I think we do have we, to. Do we though? I is think it, we do. Original. Her her like story British, of being British. like I don't. What the heck does that mean? But <laughs> British. <laughs> her whole concept of like she's stuck in like a time loop that can only be kept like by her whatever thing that Winston made her. Translocator. Yeah, translocator. No, that's not. That's Sombra's thing. What is that called? I know it's called her something. Vest. Her vest. Her yeah. Her time vest, they call it. Yeah. And I think just, like, the fact that she's, like, poster girl. And, like, I would say she's just got like... some pretty iconic things in general that probably puts her in amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think amazing is deserved. Lena Oxton. Widowmaker lore? I think she that's killed her husband. I that's think dope. amazing. I, I think like if we had to like order like absolute best backstories, I think widows would be definitely up there in the top three because she's this heartless person who literally had her heartbeat slowed so she could hit better shots. And that's dope. And now she's purple. And now she's purple. She's definitely purple. Oh, like, dude, like Tinky Winky. <gasps> Who's Tinky Winky? You never watched Teletubbies? Oh, OK. That's what you meant by that. Okay, Anna. I just don't know the names aligned with the color of Teletubby. Here, give me work to do. Look, look at this picture of Tinky Winky. It's the exact same. Do you have a picture of just Tinky Winky on hand? No, but now you have to add one. Oh gosh. <laughs> or oh, is it. that what? Is that why you said that? So I have to edit it in. How dare you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Evil. Um, was she ordered like to kill her husband, like as like a what do you call it, a hit or like a bounty or I what? Think so yeah, I think so. So I don't even know who she was like working under. Was she always under Talon or what? Because I don't know who she was working with before that or after that or whatnot. I think she was an experiment of Moira's. Because I know Maybe Moira. Read up on this before we started. No, we probably training. should have, but like we're going just off our general base up, knowledge. All this out. All no, I'm not cutting any of this out. <laughs> Oh we're gonna seem like uneducated speakers and they're gonna okay. make the no. two white guys with a podcast meme <laughs> off of us probably and it's not even my podcast mm -mm. uh i know that like moira was a part of black watch at first and black watch was just overwatch's uh underground corporation where they could do the illegal stuff without approval all right so she used to be a dancer and um a wife um 
Let's see here. She lived in France, so that that's maybe maybe put her in good lore because French people. Oh my gosh. Um, she was a company dancer. Ah, okay. So Talon wanted to kill her husband, so then they kidnapped her, and reconditioned her, and then made her a sleeper agent. And then she kill when Gerard like helped Overwatch. They had her kill him. Did she like that's know who lore. he was at least? Nah, she was a sleeper agent. What does that mean exactly? Like, well, yeah, <laughs> like some honk shoes, you know what I mean? But she didn't know who she knew who he was like still, though, gets, right? She, she just gets activated and has to like. Winter oh, Soldier sleep, right? Winter Soldier. OK, that makes sense. That makes sense. You should have yeah, just started Winter with Soldier that. Lore. I was literally about to Dude, say okay. that. Well, good thing you can edit for retention and take <laughs> the rest of it out. True. I still think it deserves amazing. There's no I don't think yeah. I don't think it goes down at all. I don't all. think her Frenchness is that big of a deal. Yeah. Um, Maybe. moving to Anna, I I don't Old, know. I don't. Town. <laughs> what? Kidding, 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 kidding. Uh, I don't. I think she has good lore. I don't think it deserves amazing, but I think it's good. Yeah. But I do think it's cool that like it was Widowmaker that did shoot her eye off, and then she somehow survived. Yeah. She Which just built like that. They hype her up around to be the best sniper, and then she ends up getting beat by Widowmaker anyways, which is, I think, a pretty cool story. And then she's just like an original original Overwatch member, and I think that's pretty much her story. And she goes, <laughs> Dude, most iconic environmental kill death ever. <laughs> Every time it happens, I have to point it out because it just lasts forever. <laughs> Okay, I don't know. I don't know about that long, bro. Uh, okay, Junker Queen. I think mid. I think it's definitely mid, but it's not bad. It's not. It's not. It's mid, closer to good than bad. Yes, I would say so. So like top of mid. Like mid point seven. Mid point seven. I bet that 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 sounds pretty good to me. But her lore. East, also. No, no, no. We need to talk about her lore a little bit, you freak. All right. So her her lore is, she's Thor, but Australian. With a knife instead of a hammer. Yeah. And she has blue hair. Uh-huh. Uh... She kicked out Junker and Roadhog from Junker Town. And she kicked out the Junker King from Junker Town. Oh, yeah. I forgot she has a cinematic. I completely forgot about that. And you're out here ranking Doomfist just because it's anime. Yeah, bro. This guy. <laughs> this guy. But no, her her lore. I'm I'm a fan of like them teasing characters in the game for literal years, and then they finally come out. I think it's just pretty cool to see those things like uh, finally eventually happen. We didn't. Here's what I'll say. Yeah, it took yeah. them long enough. Yeah, for real. I can't believe we went like two years without any single like update to this game. Like after Echo, it was nothing. Blizzard. That is definitely Blizzard for you. Anyways, Baptiste is. It, I think his lore is pretty cool. Uh, are, are you just gonna keep doing that? Uh, didn't Talon or Null Sector like attack his hometown? His parents died, and he made it out as a kid or something, and then Talon adopted him. Yeah, I think it was like a Batman. Yeah, basically. Guy. And he's like such a freaking upbeat guy, and like he didn't go. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. welcome. That is top tier voice I mean, line. Top tier. <laughs> I would say we could put him in good. It's so close to amazing, I think, but they just need to flesh them out a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, I agree. I, I forgot about that. Briglor? Uh, um, kind of just like a far copycat. Yeah, Destiny. basically. Far copycat. She, you know, doesn't have anything she except that she's cat emote. That's so that's pretty good. I'll put her as bad. You think so? I'm put putting her. her to mid. I would say put her in mid for the same reasons we put far in mid. Is See, Farah was the first. Brig was added after, and like, oh, now we'll add Honest Kid. Oh, right. Let's, let's where Torbjorn had a kid. Yeah. Like, hmm. Isn't she like, um, isn't Reinhardt her like mentor or something? And they've been like hanging out or whatever, yeah. training or whatever. He's like her, her uncle Reinhardt. Basically. I still think that does deserve bad though, and could definitely be fleshed out a bit. Other than, oh, I'm Torb's daughter, and I'm where I work with Reinhardt. That's basically it. Uh, Kiriko. Uh, Kiriko, bad. I'll say I, it. I would say. Uh, Fox Spirit, W T H, and then F. You know, they straight up made magic a part of Overwatch. Like it, I know. It was with Hanzo and yeah, Genji, that's what right? I was just about to say as well, right? But, but everything. You have to like draw a line. Yeah, like everything up until. 
Kiriko had technology or something behind it. And now they also made Fox Spirits a thing. And see, here's here's the thing with Hanzo and Genji is it's okay. These guys have these powers, and because of that, they are massive owners of this just crime empire. Like they yeah. control all of all of Japan. And then we have Kiriko who has this cleansing ability that can prevent people from dying, save people from death, and she's like, you know what? I'm gonna protect this one block. This <laughs> one block area. Yeah. That's gonna it's like, huh? Yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't know why they, like they always put Daredevil and Spider-Man in New York. But yeah. It's like the need of if you have Spider-Man, do you really need Daredevil? You know what I mean? Like I, I, look after a couple little yeah yeah <laughs> they all need to like section off what parts of new york that they're looking after i'm like then it's like okay kiriko grew up with hanzo and genji so they should be as old as hanzo and genji right aren't hanzo and genji like 30 40 almost though exactly and then kiriko's like really young and acts like hey i'm kiriko <laughs> are you gonna be the kiriko voice actor next too jeez Heck yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's definitely bad. Definitely. Ugh. Gameplay mechanics it's wise and story stink wise. Town. It it's is nearing stink It town, is man. nearing stink town. I'm gonna you know what? I'm gonna make that move. Stink town. You just think it's, it's gonna going be stink, to stink town? town? Yeah, go into stink town. <laughs> Fair. And also they were confused because in her short she's like this humble <laughs> short. <laughs> <laughs> she's like this humble like protector. Yeah. And then you get in game and she's like just this like braggy teen and you're yeah. like Yeah. Oh. Huh? Maybe the story writers of the cinematic didn't <laughs> weren't on the same page as the game the game uh, developers. Just blizzard things. Just blizzard things. <laughs> All right, Lucio. Lucio. He's got his own cereal. That's amazing lore. I don't know if it deserves amazing though. He's just a DJ from Dude, Brazil. Oh, okay, what cereal do you have? Right now? Oh, the I, there, there are no. Ah, let's make it a thing. <laughs> I still don't think it deserves amazing though, because I know his like. Okay, what's the whole deal between him and Symmetra? Why don't they like each other? Uh, Symmetra works for Vishkar Corporation, and her entire like thing is like order is the best way to have a society. So it's like kind of taking away free will. Right. That's what they did with his entire hometown. Is they were like everyone's gonna fall in line. Everyone's gonna fall in order. You're going to do all like everyone's going to be the same. There's not going to be any individuality. It's just going to be you follow your orders. You don't really have free will. Mm -hmm. Boom. So almost like enslaving, but more so it's it's like, well, there can't be any crime if everyone is being monitored all the time. Right. You know, so it's like, oh, we think we're doing the right thing. But we're just so, taking away people's like free will. We're, yeah, we're taking away people's rights. Yeah. Uh, other than that, what is Lucio's lore other than he's like this DJ turned music, defender? Uh, dead mouse kind of guy. Yeah. Um, you're right. I think I think upon further consideration, we need a tier above amazing for Lucio. Oh my god, you're the worst. <laughs> No, that's here we go and diva, man. Okay, I know you were talking about how like Fox spirits uh are treading like the magic territory, but how does Lucio's music, depending on what song he plays, heal slash speed people, make them yeah, run faster? Never heard. <laughs> All right, think about when you're driving and you hear like a banger song. Yeah. And you look at your speedometer and you're like, oh shoot, dude, I'm doing seventy. To yeah. Yeah. All right, so there's there's example one. Uh -huh. Example number two. You know when you hear like uh like a good song and you're you're just like vibing for the rest of the day? Yeah. It's that, but he's so good at making music that it actually like heals you. It's like that experiment where they insulted water before they gave it to plants, and the plants that they gave the water to where they were like, You're stupid water, no one likes you water, idiot water. Idiot and, like, water it with negative vibes. It yeah. killed the plants. <laughs> I did actually hear about that. That was pretty cool, actually. Wait, so what does that say about me listening to metal music? <laughs> What does that say? It you're a cringe weed, man. <laughs> That's what it means. Does that mean I'm I'm slowly dying and I'm gonna like wilt and stuff? I mean, we're all slowly dying. I mean, right? Just but like, clear. if 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 I were you're to listen to yeah yeah yeah, I was gonna say if we, if I'm listening to like happy uplifting music, does that mean I'm gonna live longer? Dude, I found the secret to mortality. Yeah. Oh shoot! I thought that was coke, not the drug, the drink. <laughs> Dude, no, it's this song right here. Are you actually gonna send me a song? Oh no, you're yeah, making me. Oh shoot, I thought you were gonna like have me do something in editing. What is this? 
no, no, no. Yes! No. Yes! It's <laughs> royalty free. This is huge. the key to immortality, man. <laughs> That's huge. Have you... you can't be upset while listening to this. Mm -mm. So other than all day. other than I hate you, listen, I love how you sent me a ten hour version. Why would you do that? So you listen to it all day, and then you wake up the next day, and you haven't grown at all. <laughs> you will never get it. huge. Um. Okay. Mercy. Wait. What if Kiriko cleanses someone who just dies of old age? They'll she just, just like, them back, and it's like <laughs> I don't know if it's that. It's. It, I think it would more so be the deal of they'd they'd be alive without a soul, so they'd be like a husk. And they'd be lifeless and like, you know what I'm talking about? They're like hollows right, from Dark they're, Souls, basically. They're like about to die, and she's like, <laughs> Couldn't tell ya. Kirka lore bad. <laughs> the implications of adding an all healing elixir is just terrible. Yeah, I agree. You know, Mercy Res is completely different. You die, she can resurrect you. Yeah. That. It's called a defibrillator, all right? It's in Left 4 Dead 2 and Left 4 Dead. Never played either of them. <laughs> okay, but Mercy's lore? Uh, other than she's like this doctor that has like perfected medicine. True. I'm but having also, trouble she's in like... like a, a love hexagon with like nine different people. I think it's like... And it feels like they don't want to know which way to take it. Uh, yeah. Who is it other than Genji? Because I'm completely lost here. Mara? It's Genji, oh, true. Mara? True. Um, is it just Genji um, Vara? Life Weaver? Wife Weaver? Okay. Uh, okay, so maybe it's not a love hexagon, but more of a love triangle. I don't yeah. Know, so it's like they're just perpetually not giving you an answer so that yeah fan bases will be like no she loves Farah <laughs> no she loves Genji true I don't, I don't know that's cringe yeah or she's getting good at most I think she I'm having trouble even putting her in good other than she's just this she, her story is she's this amazing doctor with like the absolute best medicine and they removed five man res dude I don't and care I about that that's Dude, gameplay. We're doing we're doing lore right. here, not gameplay. You're right, but I'm just saying Blizzard doesn't know what they're doing with her. <laughs> right, basically, I think right. just Moira? for no 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 just for uh okay, sorry, sorry, no you're good you're good you're good just for being a glass half full kind of guy I'm gonna put her in good, barely good yeah. though barely good. But Kept... what if your glass is half full of piss? And then it's then still half full. That's still optimistic. Bro, then you just got a nice little snack. <laughs> Ew. I actually got to pee right. really bad. Dude, I've been clenching in a shirt <laughs> this whole time. What if I don't edit that out? <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't say anything that I wasn't okay with being in this. Oh, okay. Do we want to take a quick I, break? I'm already... Sure. I got to pee real bad. bad. It's, it's oily. It'll slide out fast. Ew. Nasty. All right, I'm back. And as I was on the pooper, my postmate Eduardo thanked me for the tips. Um, I think speaking of gross, Moira. Moira's lore is basically just she was Black Watch's underground, like she's what evil mercy, <laughs> basically. And she's Irish, and I don't know what she says during her alt, and that scares me. So I'm giving her bad, <laughs> bad lore. I don't know. I think her her story is pretty cool because I think she does get brownie points for being the one that like manufactured Reaper, basically. But then we have to give Mercy more brownie points for manufacturing Genji. <laughs> no, she gets the as much good brownie speed. points as she. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I think she gets as much brownie points as she deserves to being good. But I don't think Moira's bad. I think she at least belongs in mid. Fine huge but i want to hear your arguments of like why she's not good I don't, she just doesn't have a lot going on for her. she's just like the counter mercy you know what i mean mm. Mercy's like i believe we can heal and do experiments safely without hurting anything and mercy and moira's like i believe we can just do experiments and push science no matter the moral like complications with that yeah you're right, basically. But I still, it's more fleshed out than everyone else and bad. You know how Crimson Chin has his opposite chin? Mm-hmm. That's, that's Moira to Mercy. Basically, yeah. Opposite chin. Would your, would the opposite of your chin be your forehead or like that little, that little ramp off your back onto your butt? I don't know about your ramp off to your butt, but like the, just like the back of your head, probably. Hmm. Either that or like the dome of your head. 
anyway, Zen Lord. <laughs> um, How did we get onto that topic? The, the know, opposite of Crimson Shin. I... Alright, continuing on. Zen. I Zen think, Lord, amazing. I think it goes in amazing, yeah. It, would you care to explain why? Because you probably know more about Zen Lore than I do. He is just a cool guy. I agree. Cool guy. Okay, Arisa. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I... I he's like uh, an Omnic monk. Yeah. Who, who prays and, and connects with this, this Irish being who has healing powers that are like supernatural then because of like this being that ties into Sigma lore. It right? does? Yeah, dude. There's a, there's a voice line. Where, About the where, Iris? Yeah, so Sigma's like, how does this Omnic float without gravity? Or defy gravity? And he's like, I owe my gifts to the Iris. And then Sigma's like, ah, oh, yes, we've met. Huh? And then Zen's like, how fortunate for you. He doesn't believe <laughs> Sigma. Hmm. I, uh, I, have you actually heard these, or do you like look up like lore I've compilations? Heard these. <laughs> okay. I've actually heard these. You you might play more heroes than me then, because I play like five. <laughs> yeah, it's it's one of the new voice lines. Oh, okay. So, of course, it's one of the only voice lines you'll ever hear if you have Sigma and Zen. Right. Not that either of them a are. Reservoir? I would say good, probably. Her being like created defender of Noombani because Doomfist attacked and they needed something, and that's basically it. Created by like what how old is she? Like an eight-year-old genius or something? Yeah. Arissa has like the same lore as Vision does. Mm, yeah. It, it, some differences, but like no, nah, I, I definitely understand like, where you're coming I'm from. Created out of other tools to be a protector. Yeah. You know? And that's about it for her. Uh, would we put her in good then? That might be mid level, maybe even bad. Yeah, that's, that's pretty mid. That's pretty. Bet, bet. Oh wait, I'm I'm saying mid more off of her character. Right. I think lore wise, it's pretty bad. Yeah. There's not a lot to it at all. Hmm. I think a lot of times what they do for some of these lore things is they they add like a side character that you're supposed to be. Really yeah. In, and they go, this guy made this person, so you should yeah. care about this person. But then that whole thing's lore is just like. I was made by this guy. And I was like, just associated was with this like person. You know, yeah. You'd be like, what the heck? Yeah. But the lore of the clones is so much more interesting because they're not just like constructed by a Geonosian. Yeah. You know? <laughs> you we're going into the Star Wars lore now. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine how huge Star Wars lore is? Dude, it is massive. Huge. <laughs> Every Star Wars character lore ranks. Bro, high key though, some of the characters with the best uh, lore in Star Wars are like Darth Revan and Starkiller. Huge. Dude, Bane as well. Take probably a week solid. <laughs> I'm just oh, no sleep. Been talking Turing. about Star Wars lore. Yeah, Ramatra, dope lore. I would say good, almost amazing, if not low, amazing. I would say you probably know more than me other than he's just like what you told me about him earlier about him knowing Zenyatta. They parted ways eventually and then he is they the leader of Null Sector. His, like their best friend, the dude Widowmaker killed, got assassinated and Zenyatta was like, no, we can't, like, we can't do violence against people. And he was like, but I want to do violence against people. So they just essentially took the loss different ways. Yeah, exactly. Ramatra just went to make this whole organization about the suffer as I have, and then exactly. Zen meditated in a temple and trained Genji while he was creating this whole organization. And kissed Genji and <laughs> oh uh, yeah, yeah nice. You know, and kissed Genji. My gosh. Genji would walk in and be like, Master, <laughs> Master, <laughs> Master. <laughs> I have a boo-boo on my finger. And then Zen's just like, Genji, you have a robotic finger. <laughs> you couldn't Zen feel it. Yeah, yeah. I need healing. Uh, so I put Ramatra in low amazing tiers. Not not bad enough to be good, but not like crazy good like Bastion, right. Maker, Genji, like So you think you think Ryan, just low. Ah, uh... Ryan's a great character? His lore, he literally has a cinematic for his lore. He was just this rambunctious young yeah. guy that didn't care about his team at first and then 
then one of his friends and he, dies. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like that's amazing lore as well. Do you think so? Yeah. I would say I, his I overall like, that, like character that arc. Loss and personality arc there yeah. is, is so nice. And then it's like, I must always answer. Yes. It's like, that's what made it, he went from being like this, this this cocky like snarky yeah i'm better than everyone my hair looks great to being like <laughs> wow i need to step into these big shoes that i have yeah all. and he's he's definitely yeah. still there but he's just more mature yeah he's a good he's a good bloke they'd say in parts of the world right good bloke but can we can we talk about how like long his hair is in this game versus how short it was in the last i'm not sure how i feel Dude, I also don't know how I feel, because as you get older, you're supposed to, like, fall. Yeah, and he's like, I love the wind in my hair. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think I definitely Roadhog. agree. Roadhog, I... There's not much to go on. <laughs> well? Other than he's, like, this, this faceless guy that no one really messes with in Junkertown. Then he goes on the worldwide he... heist. I don't know. I think during the Omnix, like his 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 hometown was literally like bombarded, and that's why he needs to wear the mask is because of the radiation. Is that why? Yeah. Oh, so it's kind of like Baptiste, but a little different. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, they formed the Australian Liberation Front and struck against the Omnium and its robot population to take back the lands that had been stolen. And yeah. continue to escalate until the rebels sabotage the Omnium's fusion core resulting in an explosion that destroyed the facility irradiated the region and littered the outback with twisted metal and wreckage for kilometers around he watched his home become an apocalyptic wasteland and he was forever changed fair you got the wiki pulled up <laughs> no just the wiki oh my gosh i hate you <laughs> hello hello so I would put him at good lord. I agree. Because I didn't know that. Sigma lore. Amazing. I don't care. Amazing lore. If not the best lore. Man. You think if the you think the, the absolute best. best. You think the absolute best. What an awesome just hero design. What an I awesome agree. character. He's crazy, but he's not crazy. And he's a genius, but he's not a genius. And he can float and doesn't wear shoes. Dude, what? Oh, man. Tell oh, man. <laughs> And he was part of Talon, if not is still part of Talon. Uh because he does have that Talon skin, but I don't I don't know what he did with them. Dude, amazing lore. And now Bax. for the most Winton. 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 I think we have to put him in amazing. Yeah, he's a scientist. <laughs> he definitely is a scientist. How did Winton. like how did they even get monkeys slash gorilla slash apes? A talk is that what they were doing on the moon is making them smarter raising them to yeah he's genetically modified like when you see uh like a package of tomatoes at like i don't know walmart and it says non-gmo yeah is a gmo he has a gmo he's sticker GMO. <laughs> genetically he'd, modified <laughs> he'd have a gmo warning all over him yeah no that's and then he'd be like i'm a scientist I wonder if he wears those glasses because he needs them or he's just wearing them to like remember his like scientist friend. His caretaker. His yeah. Poppy. His poppy. <laughs> Huge. Uh other than and that, Life like Weaver? Oh, I forgot about Life Weaver. This. He's not on this. I forgot. Yeah, he's not on this yet. I would say his lore is pretty good. I don't I even know his lore. I don't even know so his like, lore. Like a little a little picture of him on Symmetra. Did you not watch his intro thing? Uh, he had an intro thing. Yeah. No, I didn't. Like I didn't Symmetra. watch it. So I can fill you in. Basically, he used to be roommates and like go to college with Symmetra, and then he was working for Vishkar, and they were like, "Everyone needs to conform to society. Here's what we want. Here's the only way you should live your life." And he was like, "Man, I really don't like this." So then he was traveling the world and just saw like all the havoc that humanity was wreaking on the planet, and was like, "I need to solve this problem." So then he he made like the bio light, which is what he heals with, which is like living light. That he uses to like try and help the planet. So he's kind of like what Mercy's doing now, like a freelancing yeah, except, doctor. Except like Earth. Earth, huh? It's like the actual like Earth. environment. Yeah, he like heals the planet. Is that why he has a tree? Yeah, that's why he grows a tree. <laughs> nice. Okay. 
Uh, what character inside lore do you think we want for a hero next? Other than the one that's probably in your head already is Baptiste's like Mako guy, whatever his name is. Mako. Mako. Whatever. Maugi or, or Maugu. Was it? Uh, Maui. I forget. Dwayne the, Rock. <laughs> Dwayne the Rock. I don't know if I know anyone else other than him. Like he's the one that I can just the only one that I'm able to think of. A lot of people were were hoping that the next one would be like Maximilian, like the guy who. The oh right, right. Sport. But I, I feel like I don't know. We're getting to a point right now where there's enough characters in lore that we don't need to think up new characters. Yeah, like Kiriko. Kiriko had never been mentioned before. Mm -mm, has she... this like world-breaking tag like, slash ability. ability. Like she brews the best soup, apparently. <laughs> apparently. And it's like, where where were you when you know? all this other stuff was going on that wasn't inside this one apartment complex. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> like, do you just defend building four? Mm -hmm. Is that your entire job? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> uh, but, like, other than, like... I can't think of any other side characters other than, like, the other mecha people in from D.Va's lore. Think we need them i think that's recycling i much. definitely think that like at one point like though we will someone. get another mecha yeah which i hate yeah i'd like to see someone from the deadlock gang someone else do we even like, have no anyone rival to the deadlock gang no exactly like the deadlock gang is this this notorious midwestern gang yeah and it's like we have ash who's the leader and then we have mccree who left Right. Just give us Bob. You know? Make Bob playable. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you have an Ash on your team as well and she pops alt, you can't move and you auto aim for 10 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, imagine you're like pushed way too far forward as Bob and an Ash pops alt and then you're just like stuck there and she can kill you that way. Yeah. Well, is there anything else we need to discuss? Any side characters that we want to bring in? Like, uh, yeah. Like, subscribe. 